Okay, so now it's getting a little bit more complicated. Now, what I've done here is I've gone and done the same as before. So we take into account two different parts. I've got my button that's connected to pin two, which is going to go to here, all right, which is not complete yet. I need to get from pin two back to ground. Now, the button, if it was an LED light, we would put it across here, but it's, it's quite difficult to fit it all the way across. So what we're going to do is, remember that these are connected here, so I'm going to put my button in here, and then across this way. So it means I'm connecting two different tracks. There's no reason why we can't do that. Okay. So now, you can't see it, but the but the pin 2 is coming along here, along this track, to the button, if I press the button down, across here, and then it's going out to the ground, and I have a ground rail going all the way up here, and then back to ground over here. That's my input. My output will be the yellow wire, which is connected to analog 9, going out here, and then just normal, going across to the LED, across the other side, and to ground, and then back to ground. Okay. Now, I've used a combination of the fade and some other stuff, uh, and uh, the pull-up. So we're going to be using, uh, if we're going to go through this a little bit carefully. So start off with, here's my setup. Here's stuff I'm writing down, down beforehand. So rather than doing it in the setup, I'm actually setting some global variables, which is the start. So when we very first turn it on, this is what, this is what we want it to be. So I'm setting a timer of 30, brightness is 0 and fade is 5, right? So that's, remember the brightness from fade, uh, when we did the fade program. So brightness to start 0 means it starts off and 5 here. Now, uh, remember as well here, serial begin 9600, that means I'm connected here, so I'm getting feedback from the computer. Um, Pin mode 2, input, so that's where I'm getting my input from. Pin mode 9 is my output, which is going to be a variable, um, a, sorry, an analog thing. Right, so loop, analog right 9, brightness. So that's basically telling me, put in the brightness for 9. Then it's going, it, uh, get the value for the sensor. And print, now notice instead of print ln, I've just put print sensor val in a quotations equals and then print sensor so that's basically saying my sensor value equals whatever it's equal my brightness uh, then it says now write brightness and give me the result for brightness and the fade amount and give me the result for fade so this is going to tell me if the button's being pressed down this will tell me what the current brightness setting is and this will tell me what the fade amount is now remember where the fade's going to go up however once it gets 255 we're going to turn around and come back down again Otherwise, it's just going to keep cycling through. So, here we've got if sensor value is low. So, in other words, if the button is pressed, brightness equals brightness plus fade amount. In other words, started out at zero, zero plus five means it goes up by five, and then we're going to write that brightness to pin nine. However, if the brightness is equal to zero or brightness equals two hundred fifty-five, then we're going to change the fade amount and turn back the other way. So basically, you get brighter and brighter until it gets to two fifty-five. Now, and then it says, right, now we're going to start going back down again. Else, just write the brightness, okay? And then delay the 30 second timer. So let's go ahead and uh, load this up. So wiring it up, you can see it's going through. On my board, we'll see this flash. I just had blink running, so it's flashing, loading up, and it's loaded up to the board. Okay, now I'm going to bring up my, my serial monitor and see what's going on. Okay, so it says currently sensor is one, so no one's pressing the button. Brightness is zero, fade amount is five. So I'm just going to go and press this now. Use my finger, but I'm just going to press this. Okay, press it a little bit. Oh, and you see it. when I press it down. Right, when I press down here, now I'm looking at this first, my sensors first. So when I press it down, it's going to zero. Okay. And these numbers are changing, and at the moment I'm going up, so fade is 5, get to 255, and fade goes back down, it goes back down to 0. Now, you would also see in here that the LED is going on, it's getting brighter, and then it's getting dimmer. 
Okay. So, it means now I'm con I can actually control the brightness of the, or, uh, of the LED light using my little switch.